Hello, welcome to handsonsap.com. This is Hassan Mir. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about transport disciplines. So, when you're transporting a uh, configuration from one client to another, you need to make sure that you have certain rules followed all the time. Otherwise, you're going to end up with integration problems. So, I'm going to talk about those rules that should be obeyed all the time in order to maintain a discipline. Okay, so let's start. We know that there are three boxes in a company, development box, test box, and production box, and you create multiple clients within each box to have partitions. Okay, so for example, in development environment, you create configuration sandbox and development test clients. In a test environment, you have a QA test client and some training clients. In a production box, you have production client. Now, discipline one is configuration and sandbox should be the only client that allows changes to configuration tables. No other client uh, should have uh, configuration table access given to the users. Only these two clients should be allowed to have configuration changes. Configuration and sandbox, that's very important. Now, configuration should be, uh, configuration client should be the only client that creates the transport no other client creates the transport so configuration only is uh, being copied should be copied from configuration client to any other client now sandbox should not create transport okay sandbox is there so that you can do your experiments and uh, some kind of uh, exploring okay but you do not copy configuration over from sandbox to other clients Sandbox should not create transport, although it allows changes to the configuration tables. Okay, so another rule that should be followed is consultants should be creating transports related to their own setup areas. Okay, so no other consultant should be creating a transport for this setup area. If finance, if general ledger or financial is a setup area for this consultant, then no other consultant should be stepping in and this consultant should not be creating transport for any other setup area. That's very important. Now, if you follow this discipline, then discipline basically includes only configuration client should be creating the transports, only configuration client and sandbox client should, have, uh, should be allowed to have changes to their configuration tables, and consultant should be creating transports related to their own setup area. So this discipline should be followed all the time. If you follow the discipline, then you will uh, prevent integration issues in your system okay so you will not end up with incorrect configuration settings and this will if you if you prevent integration issues then you will also prevent business disruptions okay because integration issues brings lots of disruptions to the business now uh, now I'm going to uh, touch slightly on this topic of leapfrogging just to let you know what leapfrogging is and that comes under the same categories of discipline that we have talked about we should be uh, avoiding something like this uh, so this happens when two consultants step on each other's toes okay so September 1st consultant one made changes to the setup table for example table one now consultant one is responsible for table one so he made some changes to table one so that's okay because that's his area now on 20th September consultant 2 made some changes to table 1 now consultant 2 is not responsible for uh, table 1 changes but he is making changes to consultant 1's table now on 30th September consultant 1 is supposed to transport all his settings uh, of table 1 to some other client and he basically unaware that another consultant has made changes to his table now, on 30th September, consultant one transported the setup of table one. Now, this brings a problem. Consultant one changes are not sent over to the target client. Instead, consultant two changes are sent over. Why? Because consultant two changes were done more uh, recently. Okay, so leapfrogging can be avoided if you follow the discipline. And the discipline is that consultants should be creating transport related to their own setup area. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial and I'm going to see you in my next tutorial.